Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'll show you how to use the easy post element to display a list or grid of posts. So to add an easy post to your page, go to add helpers, easy posts. And by default, it will display the post in a grid. But if you go to load settings from preset here, you can choose various other easy post layout, for example, you can display them in a list. You can display them as a masonry. You can display them as a grid with the title overlaid on the image. And there are various other layouts you can choose from here. Uh, once you've chosen a layout, you can adjust uh, various styling options for the layout. Now, not all styling options are available for every layout. For example, if we go to styles, we have styles for content and read more. Those styles don't really apply to a layout like this. But if we chose something like grid image standard, then we could adjust the styles. For example, we go to title, we could adjust the color of the title to make it, you know, more in line with our site. And once you've adjusted styles as you wish, you can actually save your settings as a preset and then they'll show up in this list if you use easy post elsewhere on your site and you want to use these same options. So I call this, for example, my easy post preset save and now that preset will be available in this list now in addition to styles you can choose your query so by default easy posts will display either the latest posts on your site or it will display the posts for the archive you're currently viewing so right now i'm previewing the post archive so it'll show posts but if i use this in a template that was applied to say a specific category, it would show the posts in that specific category. If I applied it to a date archive, it would show the posts for that date. If I applied to an author archive, it would show the posts for just those authors. So it automatically determines the posts to show based on the template that the easy post is used in. Now, if you want to customize the posts that are shown, you can choose something other than the default query. You can choose a custom query. And then you can choose which post type to show. For example, we could only show pages if we wanted. And then once we've done that, we would choose apply query parameters at the bottom. And now it'll show pages. Or we can manually specify post IDs. We could change the order of the posts. We could order by title instead of the default, which is by date. Now the posts are order, ordered in alphabetical order. We can choose filtering options. We can only show posts in certain categories or in all of the specified categories. We can only show posts by certain authors. We can adjust the number of the posts shown if it's different than uh, the default setting that you set up inside of the WordPress admin panel. Or you could choose a manual query. Manual means you manually specify the query parameters. I'm not going to explain how to do that in this video, but for more information, go on wordpress.org and read the Codex article on the WP query. And that will explain how to use this. And once you specified your query parameters, just click apply query parameters. So I'm going to set it back to the default and apply. Next thing we have are templates. So the templates are the actual PHP and CSS code that's used to render each post displayed by the easy posts. So by editing this, you can get total customization of what's shown. So this is just HTML and PHP code, and it behaves just like it would if it was run inside the WordPress loop. So if you're not familiar with WordPress coding, this will not make sense to you, but if you are, you can 
put in any code you normally run in the WordPress loop. For example, uh, if we wanted to take out this comment stuff, we could just delete the stuff for the comments, apply, now it no longer mentions the comments. I want to take out the meta entirely. We could do that. If we wanted to display something other than the excerpt, we could do that there. If we wanted to change the read more link text, we could do that here. For example, read posts, apply code, and that's updated. So this would be useful for displaying custom fields or just creating a totally custom post layout. In addition, all the CSS that makes this layout look the way it does is over here. Percent percent EPID percent percent is replaced by the ID of the easy posts. That prevents uh, the styles that you create in this easy post from conflicting with another if you use multiple on the same page. And then the last thing I want to go over is pagination. So right now, WordPress by default shows 10 posts per page. But if I display them in a three by three grid like this, you get this orphan at the bottom. So really we should be showing nine per page. So the way we change that setting, first I'll save the page here, would be to go back to the WordPress admin, go to settings, reading, blog post pages show at most, the default is 10, I'm going to change that to nine. And now if I refresh the easy posts, so the way to do that would just be change the parameters, reload the preset, adjust the query. I'll just change the query and then change it back. Now it will display nine posts instead of 10. Okay. That is how to use oxygen's easy posts element. Thank you very much for watching.